it couldn't have been a more perfect trip. I hiked two days, perfect weather, and I when I got to camp tonight and set up set up camp to put everything in, it started raining. And check it out, it's a perfect I, I couldn't have a more ideal campsite in this amazing spruce fir forest. And up on top of Mount Sterling, you can see right out, you know, I'm in this tarp, but you can really feel like you're you're out in it. You're not like hidden away from every from what's happening, like a lot of tents. Um, so far I'm bone dry in here and um, I've got my food hung up. There's a, a bear hanger thing where it has little hooks that on a pulley that you put hang your bear bag and you pull it up and it goes up 10 feet and then you hook it to the tree and it stays there and it's it's up there about 50 feet away um, and I'll show you inside the tent what I've got here it turned out like everything I brought I, I brought just the right I mean I'm using everything I brought and so I like to, you know, keep track of my trips and how my gear evolves because, um, because that way, you know, that's how I make improvements. I see little things that could be better here and there. Some things I don't need and some things I do need. And um, so, yeah, what I figure is my clothes, including my rain parka, is four pounds. In a nutshell, this is my gear. Here's my rain park. It's out there, yeah, but good thing I brought it. It's it's a you know it's a organic canvas beeswax coated rain parka and ooh, I love that thunder. Uh, so I'm gonna see how it works pretty soon. Um, and here's my lucky sheep sleeping bag right here. Now, I didn't really need it, it to be, I didn't need it to be a 20 degree rated bag, but the thing is, I don't have a, I don't have a bag that goes, I think it's about 50 degrees probably, this is where, so my bag is like more than I need for this trip, but that's okay, because I know, I know it would work even if it was in the winter time, I'd still be good. Okay, so there's a sleep, lucky sheet, rewilder sleeping bag inside a sill nylon uh, stuff sack. Okay, and then here's the backpack all empty. Um, here's the Avazia energy energy tool with with a first aid kit. Um, so so I figure my clothes are four pounds. My back my sleeping bag is four pounds. My tent is two pounds. My pack is two pounds. Um, first aid kit is about a pound. And what else do I have? Um, food, which is about eight pounds for four days. And of course water, which, you know, gets filled up and emptied along the way. Overall, the pack weighs, um, has been weighing around 30, 30 pounds, give or take. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, my pad, sleeping pad, right here. So, um, so yeah, you know, it's pretty tough, backpacking is pretty tough, because you're never used to, to carrying that much on your body. I mean, you know, 30 pounds, I mean, that's, that suddenly you're, you're carrying all this weight and you're hiking uphill on rough trails and, and um, it, it takes, I think it takes like a few days to break in to a trip. And a lot of times a trip is only a weekend or a few days and so you don't even have time to get used to it before it's over. So um, I hiked six miles a day five miles the first day and 
but that's that's a good amount for me right now. So, um, okay.